In the marine industry, there are two ways to get air to an engine, naturally aspirated or pressure charged, better known as supercharged. Naturally aspirated engines use the naturally occurring 14.7 PSI atmospheric pressure to get air to the combustion chamber. The only way to get more power is to increase the displacement of the cylinders. A supercharged engine compresses air beyond the 14.7 PSI atmospheric pressure to deliver pressurized air to the combustion chamber. More air means more power. There are six basic components of a supercharged system. The air filter is where air enters the system. It also reduces intake noise. Next in line is the electronic throttle control valve. This controls how much air enters the intake. It also communicates to the PCM, the onboard computer, how much air is entering the system. Incoming air is then routed to the supercharger, where spinning rotors increase air density up to two times higher than the normal 14.7 PSI atmospheric pressure. Depending on running conditions, the supercharger is capable of delivering 29.4 PSI to the combustion chamber. This pressure charged air is S valve. This valve adjusts for differences in atmospheric pressure, such as air temperature, air density, and even high altitude conditions where air pressure is less than 14.7 PSI. The bypass valve will compensate and allow more air to enter the combustion chamber. Before entering the cylinder, the air passes through the charge air cooling system, which cools the compressed air for maximum combustion efficiency. The final key component is the Verado fuel injection system, a true multi-port timed injection, which is also water-cooled and gives Verado a significant advantage in fuel efficiency and performance over competitive fuel systems. What's the advantage? Supercharging delivers the torque big boats need for immediate planing, superior mid-range acceleration, and strong top speed.